Oh man, that as well is very slippery. Slippery, slippery. Okay. I miss that, doesn't matter, he's still dead. Gonna cast Barrage, you're gonna flash out. I'm gonna cast the Q, E, get the kill. I know Shaco will jump over the wall. So I have to be careful. Okay, through the E, get the kill on Shaco as well. Shield, that was some pretty nice movement. Hello everyone, my name is Dromat and today we're going to do a Lux mid guide against Platinum Diamonds players on Flex, I'm not sure exactly what this elo is. We're going to discuss today how to play Lux mid and we're going to discuss about runes, builds, I started E not Q because I'm dumb, I'm <laughs> because we're invading. But we shouldn't really invade with one AFK person. Well, whatever. We're going to discuss today. Yeah, nah. We're going to discuss today runes, builds, abilities, what to max, combos, and everything that you need to know in order to play this champion. After that, we're going to do some post game talk and we're going to see that I'm against an Ezreal. And so for runes, I'm playing with Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Presence of Mind. Coup de Grasse, Cup de Grace, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, and these rune stats notice the ability haste both here and then transcendence. You can also play with Dark Harvest for uh, different build and with the Ultimate Hunter rune. Uh, definitely that could work, but I really like the um, double combo from Mana Flow and Presence of Mind. Also for items, I'm playing with what's recommended actually, with Ludens into Sork Shoes, into Horizon Focus, into Rabadons. Void stuff Zonia depending on needs, maybe I'll get a sooner stopwatch, maybe I'll get Mejai somewhere there if I'm good fed, or Cosmic Drive for lots of ability haste. Now for abilities, we're gonna start, I hope he's not AFK and also I hope I won't have random disconnects. For abilities, we're gonna start with the passive, and there is no Ezreal. We're gonna, st uh, I'm not sure if we're going to play this game, but... I certainly hope so, but yeah, let's let's assume that this guy will uh, actually come to lay. So for abilities, Lux passive. Um, whenever you cast a spell, that being uh, Q or E, or even your ultimate. I'm missing CS because I'm trying to talk. Jesus Christ! All right, applies an illumination debuff, and you can see it here. I farm like crap. So basically your Q and E procs puts an illumination debuff on the target and they have first blood but it's going to be a restart isn't it? And yeah basically you want to do, oh he's here, okay basically you want to do a Q or E, you're going to talk what those, what those abilities do and then you want to do an auto attack to proc the passive, that's pretty simple right? Alright. Your Q is this little throwable CC root, which roots up to two persons, like this, if you hit it. Alright, your W is a shield, you're going to see it when I actually cast it. Oh my god! I also farmed like crap, trying to talk. This is why I don't play solo Q. Your E is the spell that you've just seen a lot of time cast, is this ball that you throw at the opponent, it slows in an area and deals damage, and your ultimate, as it says here, Fires a dazing ray of light, dealing damage to all enemies hit. Alright, for some reason, for some reason, my man here got caught. Alright, alright. Alright, but you're two levels behind, why are you... I can flash it, but nah. Alright, if he was ahead in levels, I wouldn't have gone there, truthfully. And I missed that too. If I hit a Q here, we're gonna get the kill. Basically, your ultimate is a ray of light, which destroys everything in its path. Pretty strong, actually. And we, the full combo is two in two ways. You can either start it with E to slow the target and then cast Q and then ult, or you can start with Q, E into ult instantly and then auto attack. Or you can do a Q auto attack, E auto attack, ultimate, and so on. Uh, basically, Basically, now oh, come on, jump, jump with E, jump with E. Okay. Nice. Real nice. He should have dodged that with E. And I'm sorry that I'm getting kills on a on a low level 
well, he was AFK, I'm sorry for getting kills, but he's kind of asking for it, to be honest, because he tried to kill me here. I was actually focusing on the abilities. Alright, so, uh, because we got the kill now, we can go for two of these, and one of these, and also a potion. Basically, when you get kills early, or even assists, you can go for a Dark Seal to transition into a Mejais, and these items right here is to actually build the Lost Chapter. Now, we didn't have enough gold for the Lost Chapter, because you see it's already another 80 gold, we, could have, we should have waited a bit more. But it's fine, really. We have enough mana from the Presence of Mind and Mana Flow Band. Now, I know I didn't explain pretty well the abilities, but I am fairly hopeful that you're gonna notice when I cast them. So, Q, auto attack to proc the passive, E, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, and now we got level 6. Now, Lux Ultimate is on a very short cooldown. As you can see here at level 1, it's only 70 seconds and it goes down a lot. And the ability haste build actually allows us to uh, make this ult more spammy and it's quite enjoyable to have it on a very low cooldown. Now, uh, also your E makes CSing so, so beautiful because you have this uh, steroid, that damage steroid that actually helps you a lot. And so yeah, you can actually use it to... Now if I would hit here this... Okay, I can do that. Auto attack, ult, he flashed, and that's fine. And I'm going back here. I got a flash from the moon, though I could have got more probably, uh, but if I did my full combo there, I wouldn't have killed him because I wouldn't have procced enough illumination stacks. Uh, I wouldn't have the damage if I threw everything at him. I'm pretty much sure of that. So in this context, uh, we just got the flash out. The ultimate being a low cooldown doesn't affect us that much. We just need to know that next time when we fight, we don't have it. And fighting with Lux is pretty much similar to Xerath, as you'd like to stay from a long distance and do your W shield on your allies and Q to... Let's say you're here, okay, and they come and they don't have vision. You can throw the QE ultimate to do the full combo. Bam, you hit on one or two targets, you dealt a lot of damage. And yeah, that's mainly how to play Lux. Trying to find these angles in team fights to CC an important target and to get the kill. Now, uh, I want my jungler to actually farm. Okay, I'm not gonna miss the cannon. Okay, back off. There are a lot more players here. Okay, auto attack. I'm gonna get a little damage to my head, but it's fine. You should be careful because there is a shake up. But if he comes, I can just. Why? Why did you smite so badly, man? Oh, that's on you. You missed your smite! You dare to ping others? Boy, that was a battle. No, 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 no. That was very bad. He could have not, because that's not worth it all. And now he pings me as as I could have done something here. <laughs> we could have probably get him, but I want to recall. It's fine that this really is dead, but this needs to be pushed. Boy, this needs to be pushed. But I don't have mana, and I hate it. I don't like to stay on the lane without mana for abilities, because Shaco can just... Jump on me while I do have my shield. Okay, I do have my Q. And now we're going to go for the lost chapter. So I see he went straight for Union. For Union Boots. Okay, I'm backing off, I'm backing off. We can go straight for lost chapter. Please leave me alone. What, you're gonna throw it? Wow. So straight lost chapter and then we're going for Boots and try to stack the Dark Seal up. And score is pretty much in their favor but that won't stop us from trying to carry the game. Now, I'm going for this. Why Why I'm going for this and not for boots right here? Because this is exactly the gold amount needed to buy the Blasting one. If I went for boots, I would have had a pretty much a worse uh, ratio in, on gold, and I would have cost, I would have paid for it. Now, on CS, I'm pretty fine, but Kaiser is very strong, and that will cost us. Okay, go, go, go. 
gonna cast. Man. Uh, he wasn't really going to do much, you see. I'm here to help, but. Can we really do much? I should go for the red trinket. Yeah, I also should poke him a bit. Like, throw an E. Bam. Okay, I see the Mundo coming in. Now, they do have two champions that don't really have any CC. So, Barrier is an overkill this game. Could have gone for teleport, could have gone for uh, actual heal. Okay, dodge that. I do have the Barrier for moments like this. So, I'm quite happy that this went as it did. I'm throwing this ult so badly. Like, I'm gonna ping myself for this. That was a free kill and I'm bad. But we still got him. That's one stack of Dark Harvest. Could have been more. But we can transition, definitely transition into a uh, into a Magi soon. Man, those odds were awful. Jesus. Okay, we have a gank on top. Timo is 100% there, there. And Hecarim is very fed. Now, we came now from the 6-3 to this score. And this is great. I could actually keep pushing this. So do the EQ. Proc two to auto attacks. Proc the E exactly like this. Okay. Throw another E. One auto attack. Bam. Proc the, proc the E. And recall. Now we see Mundo here. So he's going to be safe on top side. And they are still in team. That was an outplay there. Congrats. That was nice. And Riley is very tanky. So I'm going to ping that he is going to ult. Nice, 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 nice. We had vision, so it's actually pretty fine. Gonna ping to get this tower or this. You should get something. I think Mundo is on the track. I think he jumped over it. But even if I'd go there, he yeah, could have smited it. So it would have been a waste to cast my I could have tried to steal it. Whenever you have an objective in mind that someone you think is doing it, you can throw your ult because it's a low cooldown and you can definitely get away with it. Okay, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Thank you. Would have liked the kill, but in these trying times, I don't think there is much we can do. I have some frame drops, but it's. I don't think it's. Uh, okay, it is. <laughs> it breaks my gameplay because I miss those <laughs> those creeps. Okay, I see. I don't see Shaco on mid. One would only assume that he's still going bot. Shaco should have ganked more because he won't bot. But Rally's, Rally's playing, Rally's knowing what he's doing. Okay, we see that this all died again. Okay, we see a gank. We have, in 20 seconds, we have an ult. Maybe, maybe we can get Shaco. Okay, nah. I think he's seen me, and now we should just back off. Because I went over this word. But we could get this. Okay, so Q auto attack, E auto attack. Oh boy. I want that. No! <laughs> I think he will come here for the. For the blue buff. So. Yeah, he's here. Is he not? Ah, he jumped with that. Damn it, I'm losing so much time. Okay. So back to mid, we have Ludens now, we need to be careful. I haven't used my barrier or flash, so this is actually going great in terms of pressure. Could have probably went for something else into the items, into the summer spells, but it's fine. So we max E, then max Q, and we keep pushing mid. We did uh, reach Kaiser in terms of yes. Oh boy, don't even, don't, just steal it, don't, don't die, please. I'm gonna do an auto attack here, okay. Okay, this is nice. But I think I need to back off. He had an ult, so that's why we didn't get much. And if Mundo comes now and flashes on me, or I get ulted by Ezreal, I could die, so I have to be careful. See, we see Mundo. Okay, that's a nice heal. So Mundo is coming here. Israel is there. 
he might try to dive me, but I'm safe if I'm shot down there. And Shaco still doing Shaco work. We're okay, gonna do an auto attack on this. Two, one, I'm gonna cast an E. We have an actual teleport here. I wanna see what's going to happen. She should die. I could follow. Man, that questionable. Very questionable ult. And she should get the kill on, on Hecarim. Yeah, that's. Oh, she could have. She could have definitely got the kill onto that. Now, you should win this. You should win this hard because Ezreal is so behind. I'm not. I'm not even exactly sure why an Ezreal with Tionian and Tear of the Goddess and two. Just Mundo has some fire, and the rest of them are. If Kaisa dies, they aren't existing. Okay, they are. They are. They are useless. All right. So they. That, that's the mistake they've done there. That's the enemy team. All right. Let's uh, get this. You should be careful when the passive ends onto this spell because you could just walk. You could lose your, uh, you could lose your actual uh, illumination debuff and miss cannons from it. I casted ultimate here because it's only a 60 second cooldown and this allows me to push faster and to actually get this tower here right from their nose. Alright, not exactly from their nose because we got the kill there. I hope there is a, an actual... Yep, I want this. I'm gonna throw this, auto attack, E, auto attack, two auto attacks, W does not apply by the way, illumination, so you throw, I see Lux player throwing W towards the enemy for no reason, because it doesn't deal damage or do anything besides shielding yourself and shielding teammates, so it's, it, it won't apply your passive, remember that, right, very important, I'm gonna throw an E, gonna want to get the cannon, I'm gonna cast Q to be sure. I like to cast spells to be sure. We should get this Drake. But we should catch Kaiza. If you catch Kaiza. Okay. Man, he baited me nicely. Okay, you should also manage your mana properly. So I have all cooldowns, right? Well, that was a nice, nice, nice stun. So this is a free Drake right here. Wow. Let's check with flash, man. I'm gonna see an Israel ult. Okay. Okay. Why am I throwing this ult? Jesus. Have I hit a single ult? I'm gonna cast the W to shield them. Okay. I think Shaco will just uh, escape. Not hear the shield. Man, I int a lot with those ults. But then again, you should cast your ults whenever you hit your Q or you hit someone else hits some CC. Think something like uh, think something like Nekos, Root, uh, Rel Stun, Hecarim. I could have thrown it earlier, but we won regardless. So use your abilities. That's the thing here. But be careful in hitting them because I miss them a lot. Also, the farm is very good. Anti-climatic gameplay, though. I just didn't hint. So that's what I tried to do the entire game. And it works pretty well for me right now. I'm two levels ahead of everyone in their team besides Timo. I am the first leveling game comp at the same time with Nico. Same in farm, same in close into the kill participation as well. So while you could do more, it's okay to not rush things when you're ahead. You, you definitely have this ult into the mid to late game, which will help you a lot in evening things out. And here I'm going to try to cast an ult on Timo. Because we know. Uh, because we know he might try to flash away and okay i just try to go and do these roams to put myself in an alt position and if it's uh, close enough to actually mean something we cast it right so right now i'm taking this from hecarim you shouldn't really uh, tax your jungle that much you should uh, get stuff only if you feel like it doesn't really hurt him and he has six kills a bounty all right i want to do an e here I'm gonna do an ult to push this wave, and I'm gonna recall. It's just 40 seconds, guys. It's not a big deal, and this is level 11. 28, 29 seconds at level 16, and that goes way down. We do have 38, uh, 38 on this ability haste, and that's pretty good. Let's go for Horizon Focus. Although I could go for this as well. I could go for that. Let's go for some vision words. Always take them. 
And now all we gotta do is hit some CC on Kaiser. You've seen Hecarim can run Kaiser down. I just had to help Hecarim in these fights and be around him. And I keep the nice CS here. Stay to the mid. I don't I don't go to side lanes because I don't have to. Uh, but if the CS would be here or close to here when we have tower, it's okay to do so. But you're not a split pusher, be careful. Gonna jump, gonna cast a Q here. Gonna cast a W because yeah, I was sure the old comes. I was sure. Exactly. And we could do now some setups. Basically, as on Talia, you can move somewhere around here. Okay, that was bad. And wait for an unsuspecting target to come. But if it's Shaco, he can ult it, so be careful. Okay, we see this. We see this, but we don't move, okay? We just wait. And we, sh we are careful. We are careful because we are in a position in which we can't we can't really survive if they catch us. So I'm just gonna recall here <laughs> to be safe. <laughs> because that was risky. If I, if I tried to engage on Shaco there, they would have chased me around and I don't have the mobility of a Talia, of an Aurelion Soul, of a Roman Champion, or the escapes. So I play very, very safe. Alright, so this guy has a lot of damage. This is Imperial Mandate. But we're not really struggling. So we try to move around. Okay, gonna get that. Try to move around here. And we just wait for someone to try to take that. We throw the abilities. We still have our Q ready. Okay, here is the ult. You try to throw it on top of that. Bam, you come and help. And this guy should be good to go. There we go. Try to hit the Shaco with the ult there. Apparently I didn't try to nuke him on the Neko ability. He deals a lot with the Gale Force. Now, going Dark Harvest in a game like this would have been that beneficial, for example. Because I haven't fought a lot and we would have been behind. So you have to wait in your options. If you are the aggressive type and you can force these fights, you can definitely go for Dark Harvest. But if not, oops. Okay, I'm gonna throw abilities to try to save her back, 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 man. I'm trying to save you. I don't want to keep fighting here. There are a lot of traps. I hate them. Alright, but uh, he doesn't deal that much damage. I don't know why. Alright, so we can we can do a Q here. Try to catch someone. Okay, we still got that. Oh man. That as well is very slippery. Slippery slippery. Okay. I miss that, doesn't matter, he's still dead. Gonna cast Barrier, gonna flash out. Gonna cast the Q, E, get the kill. I know Shaco will jump over the wall. So I have to be careful. Okay, throw the E, get the kill on Shaco as well. Shield, that was some pretty nice movement. And can anyone come? There can be a Kaiser spell. And an ult, she has a lot of CS. She stayed to the side lane a lot. And that actually put her in a pretty good spot CS wise, but her team doesn't really help her that much. Even though she has a front line and team on top, she still struggles a lot. We do have 10 stacks of Dark Seal, so we can upgrade it. And we're gonna go back when we have enough gold to get both the Mejais and this Horizon Focus item. Alright, so. Somehow Lucian, okay, Rel came in, but somehow Lucian outplayed her. It's, it shouldn't happen. If you have 200 CS and you are this strong, if you are the strong target of your team, I mean, you shouldn't really take these fights. Who plays with Riftmaker on Teemo? It's bad. You shouldn't have played with this. Alright, so we're gonna wear this. We are pretty safe to ganks. I like this game because it. Man, ooh, that speed, okay, okay, okay. I can cast the ult. Definitely cast the ult. Cast the W. And now we have to run away. Wow, that thing to stop the... 
Oh, attack. I'm gonna run here because he's still f probably following me. Ooh, they are doing better. The world has seen enough darkness. They aren't? I really thought they would. No, they aren't. They aren't because there is Shaco. There is Timo. Kaiser. Yeah, no, they aren't. I've seen the put there that I hope it doesn't reach me. Alright. I've enjoyed one auto attack there. I can't help you more than this. I didn't have my W. <laughs> that he must stopped his auto attack, I think. So yeah, this is a safety play style of Lux, which is similar to Xerath. You're not allowed... Man. You're not allowed to int on Lux with uh, the range that she offers. Because if you int, you're just gonna be... Well, like any Xerath that ints, like any Velcos that ints. What you wanna do is stay away, cast your spells properly, trigger the CC, the combos. We can go for this. But I want the... I, I mean, I will go for this because I, this has potential to actually scale. Okay, they are eating again. Oh, we, they are fighting without Kai, so that's their mistake. That's their complete mistake. And Timo doesn't deal damage because he went for a trash pool. I'm flaming, but you shouldn't go for this kind of builds in a flex game, in a rank game. Okay, he's dead. Yes, okay. Uh, okay. Timo is annoying. Let me just push this wave in. I'm gonna try to go for the perfect score. And we're gonna try to have some nicer fights. Okay, probably. Q there. We have also two mountains, which helps us greatly. Also 12 stacks. 12 stacks on Mejai, which is a lot of AP. I don't have enough burst though, I need it to kill to kill the team up. As you can see, I'm always going to these bushes. I'm always trying to find these setups onto the Kaiza. She might pass towards here now. Which means I would get here a Q if she comes to the middle of the wave. Ah. She does have the movement speed. Uh, at that range it's very hard to hit it. I could have positioned it properly. But it's fine. Please don't steal my... Don't steal it. Don't steal it. Thank you. Alright, so with 200 more gold and we have the item. Ooh. Hits it, I can cast the ult for free. Okay. So we have another flash. Nice, see. I can't throw the Q through the minions though. I did try, but should have positioned away from them somehow, but it's impossible. Shaco does uh, give them, does give us a lot of uh, problems. And Timo is Timo. Trying to keep their backline away. And trying to hit stuff. I have my ult again, so that's the beauty of it. Okay. I'm not afraid, as you can see, because I know I do have the barrier. I rely on it pretty well, and Shaco doesn't have the burst to actually kill me. And I need to keep my ADC alive, apparently. I should heal up. Love it. Oh boy. Now, if Shaco is good at this point, he could nuke the Lucian. Could definitely nuke the Lucian. Okay, okay, okay. Get him. Why? Wait. If Kaiser goes into us here. I would have to use my barrier and I could die, so I have to position myself properly. I'm gonna position here and try to actually hit the Kaiser. Okay, auto attack on Ezreal. Auto attack on this. Nice. Nice. Cast the W. Cast the barrier. And we leave. Uh, I'm going through this way. Because I know I'm free here to leave. I, unless Shaco comes, but we'll see him here. So that was... Oh, stop it. Stop fighting with him. That was pretty good. Very good fight. I tried to be a support more. 
Okay, so we ace them. And also having four, 22 stacks. Ooh, that's a lot. 110 ability power and movement speed. So that's pretty good. Also, I see Nico coming towards me for some reason, unless he should have gone here, but I'll go here for her. All right. And that was some pretty good team fighting, even though I didn't hit the, even though I didn't hit the Kaisa with uh, the ult or the combo. I just been a pretty good lock support and artillery, poking in, poking out. That's a, that's a playstyle that you could do. On support is more prominent, because obviously, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. All right. Get this. Let's make level 16 for that sweet, sweet old cooldown. Did they go away? No, they didn't. All right, so now our ultimate will have exactly 29 seconds. I have 58 uh, ability haste. That's pretty good. Also, this insane movement speed. So I'm level 16. Only Hecarim is 16 into this game. Throw the Q. I'm gonna recall here. Okay, not gonna recall. Gonna go around. And I think he caught it. He also caught Kaiza for some reason. I want him to heal up, so I let him take that. Uh, I, did, I shouldn't have thrown that. Alright, so we could definitely lose this. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just be careful to that. A teleport from Timo. But Timo is Timo. And, and I got two kills. I could definitely double here. And there is a Shaco that's annoying us from the side. Come on. Man. Why? Oh no, Kaiser is coming. Don't no 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 don't 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 Alright, I don't have a barrier. Okay, they are mid. I'm not sure why they didn't come. I'm gonna cast ult here to speed it up the process. I'm gonna go towards the golems. I want to take the golems again to make level 17. Can't come closer to you. Nice. 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 And let's get this as well. All right, that goes fine. One auto attack, two auto attacks. Q. Okay, we can go for Rabadons now, although Zonia would be an option for this game. We can sell the Dorans, we can go for another in this large road, we can go for Vision Wars, but we don't have space. We also have Soul up, so we have a lot, I have a lot of <laughs> armor and stat, defensive stats that help me survive. You can see I have 600, 600 uh, right here in the bounty, you shouldn't die with it. Also pretty good CS, although it's average sort of but for those who forget to see us it's pretty good I suppose what they are doing they are fighting I popped the bomb there okay I'm gonna throw the ult here got the Timo in oh no they surrendered well that was it that was how I generally play Lux into the mid lane I enjoyed this champion a lot and I believe if you play it smart safe artillery like and you find those skills and ultimates, you can definitely crash some team fights. I've seen a challenger locks in my ranked games in Grandmaster, and that guy is pretty good. Basically, what he does is not necessarily that much in lane phase, but in team fights, he generally tries to catch a person and he succeeds with it. And then, when your ADC and support gets caught in a Q E ultimate combo, they instantly get gotted. And that's what you should do to try to win these fights, to try to maybe do these roams, maybe try to position yourself properly into the middle of the river to actually throw a combo. I wasn't first at damage, I didn't deal that much damage compared to the others, but I did the survival lot and that was what part of the one important part of the 
champion playstyle because if you die with it then you're gonna just int and give the bounty and so but i did uh, i did pretty well it missed a lot of ults at the beginning that's where the damage uh, started to not shine and also if you go for lion just for example you could output more damage but she's a burst champion i, I personally advise for uh Lion G every single time because I believe it's a bit better than Ludens, but you can actually try both and see what you like. Ludens should be better though in this champion for the burst. You should max C then Q. You obviously get ultimate every single time. Get W's, hit them on your ADC, on your jungler, on your top laner of support. Everyone gets caught. Play support ish when necessary. So if your uh, backline ADC, let's say you have a Kaiser, if she gets focused you can just help her with Q's with W's that's what you can do at in the team fights besides the engaging with the Q or doing that crucial QE W ultimate without the W because W just a shield so yeah there is a lot of room for improvement on this champion a lot of learning curves but it's not a very complex one it's similar to Xerath if you hit your abilities you're gonna do fine if you don't like skill shot just stick to the simpler champions and yeah it takes a bit of practice but it's doable and it's a fun champion i'm drew Mutt, and i really hope you enjoy this kind of that was sort of long tutorials but nonetheless it was pretty fun see you next time guys and have a wonderful week ahead goodbye